Welcome from Functional Horsemanship. Horsemanship isn't always about riding, sometimes it's about repairing gear. And today I'm just going to uh, show you how I repair ropes. These are some ropes I, I have, I use on my packing gear. And unfortunately when you, when you cut them, uh, they start to fray and then they unravel and you start losing some good rope. How I, what I do is I wrap small line around the end of this rope and then I burn the ends, and cut them off, and tuck them back in, and, and they won't unravel anymore. It saves, it saves good rope. And this is some of my good packing rope. I'm just going to do some minor repairs on it. Uh, but I'm going to demonstrate first by using a, a piece of a yachting rope here and just some common uh, hay twine, just to show you uh, how, I, how I do it, because it'll be a better contrast here with the different colored ropes, although I never use hay twine. All I'm doing at the end of that rope is I'm taking the little string I'm, I'm wrapping it with, making a loop like this and laying it on the end of the rope, putting my thumb on it here. Then I'm taking that running end and I'm wrapping it really tight and I'm wrapping it for speed as opposed to tightness right now, but I'm, you get the idea. I wrap that rope up there, I get to where the end of my rope is, I'm taking that running end, I'm sticking it through that loop. I'm holding on to that end, take my other end, and I'm going to pull them together. And what that does is it keeps that rope together. I cut off the loose ends, cut the rope off, and burn it. When I do it for real on a piece of rope like that, I use what's called cat gut. And it's a little bit harder to use, but it's smaller, and you can make it a lot tighter. So I get my loop put that on the rope about towards the end, keep my thumb on it, take my running end, and then I start wrapping it. And I wrap it tight. If you're doing this for the end of a, like a lead line or a lunge rope or something, I make those as well, and I take my time and make sure I wrap it really nice and pretty like, but for this packing rope, all I'm doing is trying to save the end of the rope, keep me from losing any more of it. And when I get towards the end of it, I take my tail, I stick that through the loop. Sometimes I stick it through twice. I really don't want it to come down, come out. So when I hold that running end, I take my other running end, and all I'm doing is pulling them. And what that does is it takes What that does, it takes that running and it pulls it up underneath where I wrapped. Just like that. Take my loose ends. What I'm going to do with that, I have a cutter over here. It's a, it's a heat cutter. You can take a pair of scissors and a lighter. A little bit easier for me on this heat cutter. I just take the end of that rope, lay it across that bar there. Burn that rope. You can do it just as well with a common lighter and a pair of sharp scissors. Now that rope's tied and it's burned, it won't come undone. Functional horsemanship.